Hi, welcome back. Chef Kay here. We're well, continuing our recipe from page 126 of Divine Cuisine, a flatbread from Norway called Lefse. Absolutely delicious. So we'll dice our potatoes all in nice even size. And we'll boil them till they're nice and fork tender. So that's going to take 15 to 17 minutes. We'll mix them with the cream and the butter to a nice smooth potato. So we boiled off our potatoes and we mixed it with some butter and cream. So they're nice and smooth. You don't want any lumps. Some people like to rice the potatoes before they mix them. And that's always a good thing too. But if you've got a nice smooth batch of potatoes what you're going to do is you're going to put them in a bowl and remember this was a leftover food so that meant that they used cold potatoes so we're going to put a cover on these and we're going to leave them until tomorrow and let that moisture evaporate from them we don't want a lot of moisture in the left side right so that's our wasted product Okay, so now we have our dough, our mashed potatoes. We're going to take it and gently knead in, oh, one cup. Start with one third of a cup or two thirds of a cup of flour. Knead it till it's a nice, soft, smooth dough. And then once you have that, what you want to do is Divide it into 16 even pieces. Roll each little piece into a little ball. And then we're going to let that rest and we're going to roll those uh, flat before we bake them as the uh, Norwegians say actually it's cooked them on the pancake griddle so that'll be the next step now we're rolling the dough you can roll it as thin or as thick as you like you just want to keep rolling it and stretching it until you get a nice about an eight inch circle is pretty good keep dusting it with a little flour And we'll continue doing that, and we'll come back and show you how to cook it. To cook our lapsa, we just take a medium hot pancake grill, lay it down on there, try not to break it like I just did, and we're going to give it one or two minutes so it's nice and brown. And we take a spatula and just flip it. Now, you can buy a Lefsa kit that has a corrugated ro uh, rolling pin, special flipping stick, and a special griddle, or you can just do it this way, which is much easier. So you just slide that on there and give it a quick flip. Remember, we talked about scripture where people are feeling like they've been wasted. They have no more nothing more to offer the world, they're wasted out, they're living with a broken heart. And we went to Isaiah 61 and we read from that how Jesus came to heal the broken hearted, right? So you're not wasted anymore. Let's continue a little bit of reading of that. And he says, he came to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. He came to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. What's that mean? It means that the problem you're facing, he has an acceptable answer. It's agreeable. The churches will teach you, no, they don't do that anymore. Well, God didn't change the word. Churches will teach you, God doesn't heal anymore. Doesn't change the word. The word says he does. The churches will teach you, uh, that faith message doesn't work anymore. Who stopped the Holy Spirit? Well, according to this, that He is there to comfort all that mourn. 
who are mourning? Well, those who are in a hard time. Those who feel their heart's been broken. Those who feel that life has been wasted. He says, no, don't mourn any longer. I've come to heal that mourning for you. I've come to raise you up and put a different standard on you. To anoint unto them all that mourn in Zion. What is Zion? Well, the kingdom of God now. To, pour, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You see, God is on your side. When we say that, we truly mean it. He will cover you. He will give you everything you need to get through your situation. All you must do is trust Him. Stay in His Word. Find promises like Isaiah 61 and stand fast on them. Maybe you feel you've been rejected, and maybe you have. I know I certainly have gone through a lot of rejection in my life. I've been kicked out of religions. I've lost special relationships. I've gone through a lot. But the point being is I don't have to wear that. God has forgiven me for my part in it, and he'll forgive you too. Just remember, God is on your side. And tomorrow we'll come back with our lefsa and see how it works.